Good morning, guys. Welcome to Vlogmas number 10. Yeah, it's so exciting for 10. Um, just look at my calendar. Um, 10. Dun, 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 dun. 10, right there. It's going to be a... Yeah, I think I was Christmas bulb. Yeah, so. Today is a special video because I'm going to sit down and talk to you guys about what the true meaning of the candy cane. If you guys haven't heard the true meaning of candy cane, I'll tell you guys. And right now. So, I'm going to do the true meaning of the candy cane. Um, a candy man in India wanted to make a candy cane that would be a witness for his savior, which is Jesus Christ. He made the cane and cane. He inspired the symbol for the birth of many ministries and death of Jesus Christ. He began with a stick of pure white, which I don't have a pure white, but it was pure white and hard candy. The white symbol means the virgin of birth, which is actually in Isaiah 7 verse 14 and Luke 1 26 to 35. And, there's, and the sinless nature of Jesus, which is in John 3 verse 5. The hardness of the symbol is the hard, solid rock which is found in 1 Corinthians 10, verse 4. The foundation of many churches, which is true, because they are built on solid rock, which is Matthew 16, verse 16, verse 18. The faint and the famous of promise that of, Jesus, of God, which is Psalm 8, mm -hmm. 18 verse 30 to 32. The candy maker made this J, the candy cane, into a J, which represents the precious name of Jesus, who came to earth as a savior, which you can find that in 1 John 3 verse 16 and 17. A symbol represents the staff, which is this way, Staff, staff of the Good Shepherd, which you find in John 10, verse 14. Thinking that the candy was somewhat plain, the candy man, decide, candy man decided to stain the candy cane with red stripes, represent the stripes of Song, Jesus received the pure and to conflict with the white, which you can find in Mark 15, verse 15, verses 20. For our healing, which is in Isaiah 53, verse 5, the long red stripe represents the shed of his blood that Jesus died on the cross for our sins for our salvation which you guys can find that in Romans 5 verse 9 a decoration seen only at Christmas time but were scripture candy ink ink Prayer that this tradition symbol will be used as a witness and glorify of our Lord and our Jesus. So basically, the Canaan Shepherd, if you guys don't understand, this is the Shepherd, Good Shepherd. This is J for Jesus, for who died on the cross for our sins. And then the red, the hardness, represents the solid rock that we stand on, that you can't lose your salvation. And then the red stripes, which is the blood of Jesus, and then the whiteness on top, 
represents the Lunar's card. Um, the Wait as no. And there's so many meanings behind it too. So that's the meaning behind the true meaning of Christmas. Of the Katie Kane story. So I hope you guys enjoyed the true meaning of Christmas. I mean the Katie Kane because it's so true. What it says right there. It's all true. Right now I'm just going to heat some stuff up. Yes, pumpkin. What? You always want food, don't you? But make sure you guys keep the cane cane in the represent. So, like, you can change the color, but make sure, like, the green means, like, if you get a green cane cane, it means grow in God. Like, a lot of people don't think that, but I believe it. So, if you guys want more questions, just ask me in the comments down below. Because I will share what I have experienced with it. So, yeah. So, I'm just going to make up this. Which is the casual, I mean, uh, the dip that I had. And then eat the dip. So, let's go. So, I hope you guys enjoy this episode. Yeah. If you guys do, give a big thumbs up. Sorry about the big yawn. I'm exhausted and tired. And so talk to you guys tomorrow. Have a good day. Goodbye. Love.